Guitar instruction video, we're gonna go over two important minor scales in G, the G minor scales, they're natural minor scales. <clears throat> so here's the first one, it's in it's uh, A form. We start on the um, fifth string, 10th fret with our first fingers. that and uh it's an a form so if you memorize this pattern you can transpose you can play it in any key starting on the fifth string so i'm going to give you an application so you're playing a g minor and then an f chord then an e flat back to the f all those notes you don't have to start on the root but it's so cool it's very important a form I use this one all the time. As a matter of fact, um, I'd say it's the most important one of the two, but they're, they're so essential. So there's the first one, there's the fingering, and um, take a screenshot of that, write it on some staff paper or make the staff paper, draw six parallel lines, Put the numbers up from the bottom, six through one. There you go, you got some staff paper. So the next scale, we're gonna go over them. It's a minor scale. And remember, although this is called A form, if you saw that, A form, it's a G minor scale. Because we're starting on the G minor note. And, and don't forget to transpose. The next one is called C form. So, this one starts on the fourth, with your fourth finger, same note on the fifth string, 10th fret. So, here we go. I'll show you that. Bottom one. C form, it's a G minor scale. They're both G minor scales, okay? And like the A form, with the C form, G minor scale, you can play it, you can, you can uh, transpose uh, and, and play it in different keys. So we're gonna start on that G with our fourth fingers, okay? On the fifth string, moving up to the fourth string, seventh, eighth, and 10th frets with the 1st, 2nd, and 4th fingers. 3rd string, we play the 7th and 8th frets, 1st and 2nd fingers. Now, both on the 2nd and 1st strings, we're playing the 6th, 8th, 10th frets. This is a little extension. Be sure to go backwards as well. Okay, so we can take that same progression, G minor, to an F, E flat, back to the F. You can throw bends right there, even the first finger bend on the... Uh, Second strings, six or eighth frets. Do the exact same thing on the first string. Do some pull-offs. So what I, essentially what I'm doing here, 
I'm just hitting uh, the 10th fret with my fourth finger once, pulling off the fourth finger, I pull off to the third finger, and then I pull off the th third finger to the first finger. So many different applications that you can play with this. I put a video out there a few weeks back on a progression in A minor. You could apply that to G. And I'm not gonna review that now, but you can you can look at that in my other video. And then you can apply both of these forms. All right, there you go. It's a shorter video today. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, uh, please like and subscribe. There's another opportunity to screenshot both those minor scales, remember they're both minor scales, although they're called A form and C form. Don't forget to modulate them, keep playing and have fun.